Hello YouTube, in this video tutorial I'm going to be showing you the how to use the batch render feature and basically what it is used for. So say you have three video clips, I'll just use colors here, I'll use red, blue, and green. So what you want to do is you want to render all these at the same time instead of rendering red, then go to come back to your computer later, render the next one, blue, and then come back and render the last one, which is green. So just say that these are like real videos and that's what you want to do. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go you're gonna click right above it. So like where you get this little side to side arrow thing next to your mouse cursor, and drag it to the left and it should make a loop region. Then you're gonna click R on the keyboard and you're gonna name it. I'll just name this red now you're going to do this, click somewhere over here, and then go back up here and do the same thing. I'll name this one blue, and you're going to come over here and do the same thing for how many times you have another video. I'll just do it three times, because pretend that these are three different videos. Like, maybe this one's like a tutorial on batch rendering. Whoa. Maybe this one's a video game montage, and then this one's a comedy or something. So those are your three videos. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to go to Tools scripting batch render when the next screen pops up what you're gonna do is you're gonna click browse up here and it is basically where you're gonna save the file to I'll save it to my desktop and I'll hit save which basically just changes it to the desktop now either at this screen here right here is where you can make the file name I'll make it colors I'm not I'm just gonna cancel it because you could do it up here, which there's not really no difference, but it doesn't matter. And now on the left side over here are all the default presets. And then if you click on one of the uh, uh, pluses, it'll drop down all the templates for that preset. I'll just use default template. And what I'm going to do is, or what everybody has to do is make sure that the render regions circle over here is ticked and then you're gonna click OK now it's gonna start rendering it and it's gonna render red first which it's doing right now it's gonna, it might take a while cuz my computer's slow well anyways when this is done it's gonna go to the blue one and render blue and then when blue is done rendering it's gonna render green and there's gonna be three files or however many files you're rendering where you save it to I said I'm gonna save it to my desktop so yeah so hopefully this video tutorial helped so i'm just going to cancel it because there's really no point of waiting so i hope you can you please rate this video five stars comment and subscribe you know you don't have to but it'll keep me making more tutorials in the future so please subscribe again and take care until next time